I've been thinking about you. We've come together to witness the marriage of Sierra Louise so McDaniel and Curtis Owen McCallum. I wish you could see it all the way I do. So pure and true. I never grew up dreaming of a fairy tale wedding. I dreamed of a loving family and my partner, and I dreamt of someone that would be kind and funny someone that would be a good parent, someone that would stick around when things were tough and would choose to put in the work for a healthy relationship after the butterflies faded and real life set in. Sierra, today I promise to love you and cherish you for the rest of my life. You're the most kind-hearted person I know. You have a smile and a laughter that I love coming home to. You're the person that I can always talk to and you cheer me up when I'm feeling down. And your song is alive It's filling all the empty Eternity within these walls Within your precious heart Sierra and Curtis, your marriage today is the public and legal joining of your souls that have already been united in your hearts. Marriage will allow you a new environment to share your lives, standing together to face the world hand in hand. I knew I loved you early on, but it was later that I realized I wanted to marry you. The first good sign was that Maisie didn't try and bite you when she first met you. Uh, and the next was seeing how you surround yourself with good people and that your friends immediately made me feel loved too. Honey, I promise to love you and support you and all that you set out to do as we grow old together. We have been through quite the adventure to this point in our lives and I want you to know that you are the best part of my life. You have made me into a better person and your unconditional love is what keeps me going. I truly believe that you and I are meant to be together. And I love, and I love our life with our two little pups. Ooh. love one another, but more importantly, support each other. You two do not know this yet, but you will become even more closer together as your life goes on. You will be calling each other not only our love for each other, but also our best friend for each other. What could I say, what could I say, what could I say to convince you? What could I say, what could I say, what could I say to convince you? You're the closest to perfect that I've ever seen. What could I say, what could I say, what could I say to convince you? To appreciate these moments and never take your love for granted. You ground me, you're the calmest person I know, unless we're building furniture together. <laughs> when I'm worried, you remind me that we have everything we need in each other and that our future has so much in store for us. I promise to look for the good in every day and live in the moment with you. I promise to keep laughing with you even when things get hard. When I'm doubtful, you give me optimism. When I'm overwhelmed, you give me comfort. And when I'm tired, you let me rest. 
And when I'm hungry, you feed me. <laughs> and you make me feel beautiful when I'm insecure. Appreciated when I feel like I haven't done enough. And capable when I feel like I've failed. And when I'm being totally unreasonable, you still love me. I promise to always keep you warm at night. I promise to not let us go to bed angry. And I promise to feed you when you're hungry. I promise to look at you the same way Maisie looks at you every morning. <laughs> and at any given point in our life, I promise that we'll always have two dogs. I promise to love you forever, even when we're old and wrinkly, and I'll love you. most about you is your kindness for others and especially to animals. Your heart is so big and you would do anything for those you love and you never hesitate to share this compassion for others. I promise to help you fill your cup so you can continue to pour your kindness into the world. You give me a comfort I can't explain and I've loved you for the past four years but it feels like my soul has known you for so much longer and the best parts of life are meant to be shared with you. Owen Mikel and my honey. I'm so thankful for you and I still can't believe that I'm the one who gets the honor of marrying you today. It's a privilege that I get to love you for the rest of my life. Finally, I promise that we'll look back one day on the life we created and be happy that we did it together. I love you so much.